Well, hey everybody. Uh, this is just going to be a quick update. I'm uh, doing a lot of understory planting uh, around the fruit trees that I've uh, that I've already established in the in the food forest here at the at the Tennessee homestead. And I just want to share with you guys a big score I had. Um, I'm doing a lot of transplanting. I went to my local nursery and bought a bunch of these. Um, I think these are maybe one gallon or half gallon containers and I'm putting wood chips on the bottom uh, some really good mulch and uh, um, where the where the wood chips have kind of broke down at the bottom mix that with compost and that's what I'm using for uh, for the middle part of it and uh, this is the main reason I wanted to show you guys this video right here and uh, we just started getting nice weather in the 70s and I had to jump on this and take advantage of these. My neighbor has a bunch of wine berries growing across the street from him. Um, basically in the ditch, you know, county property. And uh, I went there yesterday and asked him if I could dig them all up. Because uh, he said he's going to be weed whacking it all and going to be putting a driveway through there or something like that. So uh, he let me pick them all last year and I made some awesome jelly from them. And if, if you guys have never had these red Chinese wine berries... Um, they're like the most delicious red raspberries you've ever had. You, you're missing out. Red, regular red raspberries at the store and even the ones you grow have nothing on the wine berries. They're absolutely delicious and they're vigorous. They're vigorous and invasive. So that's, that's my kind of plant. That's what I like is vigorous and invasive. And I've got each one of these canes, it's its own plant. Um, I want to see if I can kind of start pulling these out, but they're all, um, they're all in water right now. And, uh, I dug them all up by the roots if you can see, like bare root cuttings, basically. This is how it would be when you get them uh, from the nursery. And uh, I was lucky. The, the soil there uh, across the street from his house was just rock. It was just rock and clay. So I was able to uh, basically just yank these guys up and get all the roots intact. Um, and I want to say I got a little bit more than maybe 30 of them. I'm going to directly plant a lot of these right into... Uh, the ground and um, the ones that I have extra I'm going to transplant in these containers and I have a bunch of pawpaw seedlings and mulberry seedlings and apple seedlings to go along uh, with that now these little guys right here these are golden raspberries and these two right here I scored out of one bag I got these at Walmart they're like five bucks right now uh, if you guys go there and uh, this they were both grown out of one bag so I got two plants I was I was real happy with that and that was another one uh, let's see here I got some uh, <clears throat> Josta berries which is a cross between a gooseberry and a currant I have two of those um, I have four seedless Concord grapes uh, two goji berries one here and another goji right here here's the other Josta berry um, and then I have two really big green Niagara grapes that are seeded uh, which which I don't really mind and uh, These two right here are also golden raspberries And uh, that's pretty much it so far. These are just understory plants um, Filling in it's I've got a lot of the bones already set up for the food forest the pillars uh, you know the canopy trees the the heart of the food forest and uh, Basically just putting the muscles on there, you know uh, filling around them and uh, I'll be sharing all that stuff with you guys here. There's really not much to look at in the food forest because everything looks like these sticks right here. These canes, there's no vegetation. Everything just looks like like sticks hanging out of the ground. And uh, um, wait until everything kind of gets nice and lush or at least starts flowering. When it starts flowering, I'll do a big uh, permaculture food forest update for everybody. Because uh, I got front yard and the backyard and the side yard now. Um, and here's some of the wood chips that... Uh, Chickens like digging in. It's got some chicken poop in there, and, and uh, it's all broken down. It's real good stuff. So, thanks for watching. All the new uh, understory plants for the food forest. Y'all take care.